Hello and welcome to the Recursion Cafe where we play games from the discard pile. My name is Jason. And my name is Paul, uh, in this video, aka Dad. So we've got Alfred on the left, son youngest, and George on the right, son eldest. Uh, Alfred's taking Achilles. Um, yeah, well, he um, deals two damage once uh, Patroclus dies, so has to discard two cards. And we have Yenenga on the right, passed by George. She's an archer and she's got two fellow archers as well. They're all moved to with 15 health for Yenenga, all ranged, and then she can siphon damage off to her archers if they're in her zone. Okay, so uh, Alfred's first off, maneuvering, the usual start, building the cards up to seven, I imagine. Who do you think has the advantage between these two? Uh, they're both, but Yenenga's top tier, Achilles isn't far off top tier. What do you think keeps Achilles out of top tier? I suppose it's probably just the fact that Yenenga's ranged and the damage can be distributed mm. if you remember to do it. Well, we'll see if that <coughs> comes into effect later, yeah. So here's an attack. It's a point blank into a Wily fighting, so there'll be plenty of auto damage to go around. No combat damage through, but two one way and one the other way. Yeah, Wily fighting is a really good card, particularly in the uh, attack sense, uh, but even defense, you're still getting a damage out, which is unusual when you're defending, so all good. Um, and Achilles keeps rolling, Pat's still alive, so we're still just dealing normal damage. Achilles in for the attack. Defended by Yenenga, we've got a Battle Frenzy into Momentous Shift, so we've got more auto damage wailing away, so we've got no damage from the actual combat itself, and just the two onto Pat as well. And Yenenga distributes the damage to her archers, which are in her zone, so that's a very efficient uh, use of that ability there. Notably, George went for Patroclus first, which is, I don't know, do, do, you, do you agree with that tactic? I've seen it work both ways. I've seen Pat get killed off turn one uh, when I've played him uh, and it's worked disastrously for Achilles because he's just decked out I equally I played a game in the recent Summer, Summer of Legends and Pat literally lasted the whole game and won the entire thing Achilles didn't have a single attack so you know fantastic you yes you take your battles you decide what you want to do um, fair enough but so that was a pin the prey into an Achilles heel so uh, Alfred had to discard a card there for pin the prey but Achilles heel the downside didn't trigger and here is a Day of Your Doom into a Momentous Shift again on defense for George. So that is, uh, I think Alfred will choose to do two damage to Pat to kill him off, to do two damage over the Momentous Shift. And uh, Pat's gone, so that means two random discards for the Achilles player. And that will be a test for weakness Ooh. and an under Achilles health. Yeah, the double attack gone, which is uh, pretty crucial. Uh, the defense, not so much of a problem since Pat's dead. Alfred's very unsentimental, doesn't really care about Pat. Despite having read Song of Achilles and liking it. So there we go. Oh, that's quite sad. Uh, yeah, well, there we go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, at least the under Achilles helm is a four boost usually, but mm. Yenenga's not like mobile, so it's okay. So we've got heal coming back here? Yes, one with the land. Yeah. Um, each of the fighters can be up two spaces, they can all heal one damage, and then there's a card draw. And here's an attack from someone, probably you know. <laughs> uh, there it is. Yeah, it's a double, double attack. So, not that useful, but at least it's a defense. First one, yes. and second one I assume will be defended as well, but let's see. And it does mean that Alfred can choose his defense and win the combat if he wishes, which he does, yeah. uh, which draws him a card. It technically is mandatory, although I'm not sure if Alfred re does remember this time around. And then moves with the blessing of Hermes' uh, ability and just and kind runs, of runs away. <laughs> it's a common tactic uh, employed <laughs> the by the entire family, including myself, probably inherited from me. There we are. But uh, George is kind of fanning out and cornering Achilles uh, in. And Achilles will come out swinging, of course. Oh, no, let, let's. No, he doesn't. He just runs <laughs> up to the pyramid. Whoops. There you go. Drawing a lot of cards for Achilles, which is interesting. Uh, yeah, um, so is that a skirmish into Stallion Charge? That's Stallion Charge into Skirmish, skirmish. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Yenenga taking the shot. Uh, no combat damage through, but that does mean George can run up into Achilles. Uh, Alfred declines to move because why would you move from that spot? He can't outrun the Stallions anyway, I don't think. Uh, so... It does take go. a couple of damage. Uh, but still only on 16. He's only taken two damage, uh, Achilles. And Yenenga's down 12. The Archers are still looking pretty healthy, at least. And there's a six value brother in arms into a shield formation. Shield formation played when you don't have a dead archer is a little bit of a waste, I feel. Yeah, he might not have any choice. I don't know what defense he's got in his hand, but yeah. otherwise he doesn't. I can't see how many cards he's got. Is it got three? Three or four cards, yeah. Yeah, so he might just have been running short on defense. That's true. 
equally, he might just have made a bad play. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, it's fine. Yeah. Um, this is an attack by the looks of it. Um, Jaws, Jaws of the Lion. Oh, yeah. Four, five, I think, into Achilles' heel. So one damage goes through, and Yanenga does gain an action, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I do hate Achilles' heel as a defense card. I do tend to use it as a boost if I can with Achilles, because you don't want the action gain, because you quite often get shorthanded with defense. Absolutely. Particularly and if you then play Master of the Hunt. <laughs> yes, although I think George takes a double move here. So Master of the Hunt can be really offensive, like a Bruce Lee kind of ability, mm. but also it can just be used for card draw because Yaneng has none in her deck. Yes, it's, uh, he's, yes, he's getting very... I keep thinking George is getting short-handed, but he's just being cunning and hiding his cards. <laughs> uh, that's another six value brother in arms into a two value point blank. So four combat damage through, although point blank will do two damage back. It's looking, the, the health gap is getting bigger though. It's 13 health to five, five. is pretty rough. Once you start getting into the five, the psychology changes a little bit and I think the running away starts to, <laughs> start to increase. But again, we've got some health gain. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Uh, I don't think the archer's got any back though. I think George may have forgotten to siphon damage off. So that was a less value in terms of that healing. Yeah, I mean, Achilles, uh, there we go. <laughs> Everybody's favorite card, the spear throw, uh, particularly elves. Yes. I mean, it's like it was designed in the same box to just take out an archer, although in this case it, it wasn't, it was just two damage. It, if you can get the card back with uh, with some of the card recursion as well, then it does mean you can just keep chucking spears repeatedly, which uh, yeah. can do an awful lot of auto damage to certain characters. Battle hardened is a hell of a drug, yeah. Mm. So there's a surprise volley into a faint that uh, would have been an action game because Joy still has both archers on the field, but no action game because it was cancelled. Here's a swing back from Achilles, and it's a skirmish for six value into a Jaws of the Beast for only five, it looks like. So I believe Yenenga will take a damage. Or only four, even. Yeah. Yeah. This is the problem now. The only the only advantage Yenenga... Well, Yenenga's got two advantages in this game. She can spread the damage, she can regain health. Two things Achilles can't do once Pat's dead. And of course, there's the card card draw as well, if you're going to deck out. But I don't think either of those things are going to play in now um it's 12 health to two so it's yeah. a pretty rough spot to be in here's an archer attack it's pinned the prey into a faint unfortunately yeah the effect just is and that's the other problem with yanenga no faints can be pretty lethal in some games yes although with angry achilles a faint can only do so much eh? true but hey yeah oh, oh there we go there's a spear throw <laughs> and it's worth noting that uh Yenenga's ability could fire here because there's an archer in her zone but i think george might have uh, missed that at some point in the game. His head went down, he lost his head, um, he forgot the rules. I mean, it, it happens. It, it all went pear-shaped. Emotional teenagers, what can you do? <laughs> I, I will refuse to comment. But yes, <laughs> thank you everyone for watching. Uh, thank you just for being a uh, Recursion Cafe member. Uh, if you want to support the channel, the links are in the description below. And thank you, Paul, for commentating. Uh, thank you, Alfred and George, for being happy victims. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Cheers.